to another bouncy video in the van um, so yeah today's video is a bit of a strange one um, one of my painters has actually painted a house the wrong colour yesterday so um, yeah I got an email well I was on site with him yesterday let's cut a long story short so I was away I was away camping last week on holiday for a few days so I took out a couple of tins of paint to my painters last week I said do a sample once it's all once all of the stain work has been prepared show the lady a sample and a little green paint and the ox uh, little green paint that had the power and ball a bath stone and an oxford stone colours they was so anyway they've done the samples they messaged me and said yeah the lady's happy with the lighter colour out of the two whatever it was I said no problem I said I rung them Monday when I got back from holiday I said to them send me a picture of the tin of paint and I'll go to the brewers in the morning and I'll grab another one they said look don't worry about that we might have enough paint to finish the job so I said that's no problem then so cut a long story short we was over there yesterday helping one of the painters one of the other painters has done the sample he shot off to another job so um, I'm there with one of my other painters yesterday he's, like, he's been over there working with the other painters so he knows what's going on while I've been away they've done the samples or whatever <coughs> so we start miscoating got all the sat rest of the sanding down done yesterday we start miscoating the uh, stonework gets to about quarter to three start wrapping up customer comes along she said you sure that's the right colour paint I said yeah I'm sure it is because Marcus knows what colour it was she said it dry a lighter so anyway I didn't think nothing of it then boys know what they've done they've, they've sorted out the paint colours so um, I'm putting the tools away in the van and the painter comes to me and says we've, we've um, done the wrong colour paint I said we've I said you've done the wrong colour paint I said oh, I worn here when you was putting the samples on the wall so hopefully then I get an email from a customer last night if there Kevin it's really important it's definitely the wrong colour paint that's by this time I know now anyway so I've emailed her I said look don't worry we've only put a mist coat on anyway so I'm hoping because because it's a dark colour that we've used anyway as a mist coat we can go over it oh he's nearly falling over careful there mate he's nearly tripped right over the old boy um yeah so i'm hoping this morning we can um put the lighter color over the uh darker color that the boys have used so yeah, a bit of a strange one for us don't normally make mistakes like that luckily enough it's been picked up early and um yeah we, it's only a miscoat that's gone on so far well that could have been a costly error so um yeah i'll show you in a minute what's been what the uh mistake is um the color actually looks quite nice that we've, that we've used the wrong color we've used anyway it looks really good color to be fair but um yeah, i'm just heading now grab a quick coffee grab some uh bits and pieces out of brewers for one of the other lads working around the corner I'll drop that off to him and then um, i'll show you the uh you know what Okay, so we're down here on site this morning on our project where we've painted the wrong paint colour. So, where's the culprit? There he is over there. Right, so we're going to knock up the right colour this morning, give this a good mix up, and then what we'll do is we'll, like I say, it's only a mist coat anyway, so it's quite good. It was a darker colour, just hides a lot of imperfections on here. So, we will go over all of this area that we've done just the top half we got done yesterday so we'll go over this this morning with a lighter color and then probably what we'll do is come down this last section here with a darker cut the wrong paint color and then we'll top it all over with a lighter color it should be completely fine anyway like i say it's only a base coat so um yeah let's get the uh bright color paint knocked up this morning, let's give it a good old whisk fruit. Had the right colour this time, Marcus? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can see, you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give this a good old whisk. And let's get back there. Get it 
Tell me about the bandit thing. Okay, so let's give you a little update of how we're getting on. Um, so that first coat um, of paint has been put on yesterday. Um, all of these base sections have been done um, all the way through there. All here. Don't know if we're going to get much done today because all of this guttering is leaking everywhere. So we'll try our best put some more sheeting up and some corex in between the joints that are all leaking there. Uh, so yeah, painted the wrong color paint yesterday, so not the greatest start, but it's not a problem. Cause like I say, this light color will cover that anyway. So no problem at all with that. Um, got the stonemason coming out today to look at changing a price to change these to the original floral capital details that the customer wants over there. Um, Let's see how my bad paint is getting on today, eh? Right? Oh, has he chose, chose the right paint colour today, Marcus? Yep. So, yeah, it should cover perfectly well, to be fair. Yeah, there you go. You can see the different cachet of paint now. Yeah, that's covering fine. So, like I say, it's quite handy anyway. It was a darker colour because that will cover up a lot of the um, imperfections anyway. And then it'll be a case of going through everything again. We'll get another coat on this today and then bit more filling in areas what we have noticed as well is where this has been all this section has been rebuilt in cast concrete the depth of this seal here is a lot smaller than the original stone natural stone and the size of that seal there so what we've got to do not happy with is this section here it's a lot deeper so once we get another coat on this then what we're going to do is have to bring the filler down to here and run this in line in here so it just meets this point here a bit better because if you look down the line you can see it's not the right depth from that point to this point so we're going to try and run that through a bit better bring some more filler out here return that in now um, and then like I say that first coat you know you can see these tiny little imperfections in there like these little areas here we'll hit again with filler on there um, more areas here where we'll have to square up these returns here so we'll bring the filler around and square them edges up there so that runs in a lot better through there and then it'll just be a case of going over again all these little tiny imperfections here all of this all of these little areas here we'll fill in all this now square all of that up and make all of these profiles nice and sharp all on these returns like these columns where we've done see how nice and sharp these profiles are now so we've got to make sure everything's as sharp as that so we've got a lot of water coming down the scaffold in now i'm not sure if this is going to work today so we'll have to see in the next half hour how we get on but it is not looking good could be one of them days, Marcus. That looks a better colour now, Marcus, doesn't it? Yeah. It's the more colour stone. they wanted. More stone. Yeah, more, more stone. stone. Yeah. That looks nice. Okay, so um, managed to get the white colour paint on the stone work today at last. So um, what I'm doing now is the other two decorators are going ahead doing all the flat stuff and um, I'm spending some more time on these capitals um, getting them all nice and smooth and flat um, so they look a lot more sharper when they're, um, when they're being painted. Um, so if you do, if you do want your um, profiles and your stonework looking really sharp and all the capitals looking razor sharp then you've got to burn all of the paint off and spend at least two, three days on each capital, honing them in, getting them all nice and sharp. Um, we had a job last year, funny enough, first time I've ever had a problem with a customer. Not me for quite a bit of money, actually. Went to the Guild of Master Craftsmen. Um, she wanted me to get all the stonework perfect and square without burning um, all, of the, um, all of the paint off. So um, we had a bit of back and forth and I explained to her there's no way we can get all of your profiles and your capitals 
and all your edges really nice and sharp without burning the paint off, filling and screwing everything up. But yeah, the lady just wouldn't have, wouldn't have it. She had roofers there. She threw the roofers off the job. Customer from hell threw the roofers off the job. She had three different painters working in, on inside the house. Nothing to do with us doing decoration work. They were pulled off the job. She had a tiler. They pulled off the job. So she was a customer from hell, yeah. And she knocked me for quite a bit of money, actually. So, um, yeah, she expected me to make all of her stonework perfect without burning any of the paint off and getting all of the profiles nice and sharp. So I'm just going to spin the camera around in a minute and show you this cabinet I'm working on now. This is nearly four days work on here and it's still not finished and then i've got this capital over there to do i'll show you that in a minute as well and um, so you've got to burn the paint off and you've got to spend days and days and days getting that preparation work right so let me turn them around and show you okay so this capital here um i'm working on at the moment still not happy with like these rough edges so i'll be just going over bit by bit with a lower grade sandpaper smoothing them all off so this is what i was talking about the lady on the other job she had capitals like that and she wanted me to square them all up and make them look as perfect as the ones we're doing without burning any paint and just putting filler over the top like i say i tried to explain to her a million times it was never going to happen but yeah unfortunately she um yeah knocked me for a lot of money and it was just wasn't worth chasing in the end I uh, showed the Guild of Master Craftsmen all of the quotation of everything written down that she never had it burnt off and yeah they couldn't believe it they took her side so we move anyway it is what it is um, so like this one here for example you can see I wouldn't want to just paint this now this is how bad the rough the stone was underneath the paint so what we've done we've stripped all of that paint off rubbed it down got our first mist coat on it and now I can see all the detail in that so what I'm going to try and do now is hone in like this this little flat flower here i'm trying to hone in that get the lines back in now and all of these details on this floor here i'm going to try and hone in these all these little edges so hopefully by the time i finish with it it's going to look really nice and smooth like a smooth edge like this this is lovely and smooth now so yeah it just takes time and time real preparation to get these capitals in a perfect condition but we can't yeah, the standards that we set, we can't leave the paintwork like that. It's just, yeah, it's just slapdash that. So, yeah, so I'll um, hopefully probably try and get this one done today. But this is probably going to take another full day on that, um, getting that to a good level. But now we've got the rest of the paint on, I've got to say, it's looking really nice, this paint. Look how nice it looks up against that. Um, brickwork with the penny roll corbels and the window heads if the customer does go for the capitals like next door i've got my mason coming out to look at that and she replicates these capitals onto them columns there it's going to look absolutely stunning but i'll show you some more bits at the end of the day once we're um finished for the day so um yeah but the face is getting there that's probably about four days work so i've honed in all of the moustache and stuff yesterday still a little bit i'm not happy with probably areas like here on the eyebrows so I'm going to try and rub back this little bit try and get it a little bit better than what it is um, but if you can see like for example next door is see let me zoom in let me show you you see how rough it used to look this is what ours is like with really bobbly layers and layers of paint over it so now if you compare it to oh well and you see how much detail you've got in it but it's still not finished yet anyway there's still more work to do in all of these corners, all of these edges, getting it all perfect. These little holes, these little pin holes, and I'm gonna try and make these capitals, uh, sorry, these flowers a little bit better. It'll just be a case, I've got some smaller files, just a case of getting in these little bits of, you see there, and little bits of old paint. So just like a little toothpick getting in there. This is not the right tool, I'm just showing you. But getting in there, getting all of these, you see this here? Getting all of these bits out here, and then I'll square all of them up and try and get all of this detail as sharp as possible. So, if you do any stonework looking like that, please remember we've got to burn the paint off. Um, there's no other way of doing it, unfortunately. So, let's get working on this, and I'll show you in a bit.
Got him, mate. You okay? Yeah. Go on, mate. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. I wish I was, Jennifer. <laughs> I wish I was. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. We've got the right paint colour now. Yeah. Yeah. You know who to blame for that one, Jennifer? Hey. <laughs> eh? The painter. <laughs> the painter. Hey. Eh? We're blaming the painter for that one. Uh-huh. Yeah, you like it? Looks good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, happy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm just trying to get your capitals a lot sharper now, so I spend a bit more time rubbing all these down, yeah. trying to get as much stuff off as possible, because that was quite rough underneath when you had the old paint on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A bit deteriorated, so I'm going to try and file them back a bit and try and get them a lot sharper for you. Mm. Got to keep the customer happy, David, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> Jennifer's the governor, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Happy, yeah. Happy. yeah that, ain't we all, mate? Happy wife, happy life. You know how it is. <laughs> I'll have a cup of tea, Jennifer. Yeah. Can I have a tea? No sugar, please. Tea, no sugar, you? Uh, Marcus, do you want a cup of tea? Uh, coffee, please. Uh, he wants a coffee. He likes to be oh, awkward. Coffee. Milk, one sugar? Milk, two sugars. Milk, two sugars. Uh, Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, Cheers, mate. Oh, yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah, I know. Have you got one now? Oh, we've got one, yeah? Okay, so this is just a little video for the end of the day, show you how we got on today. So I finally put the right colour paint on the stonework, which was good. So um, that's all good. Done another second stage of filling. So last bit of filling on all of these areas, as always, getting that second, third fill looking perfect. Spent a bit of time on the capitals today, rubbing back them. Unfortunately, I'd lost quite a lot of the original detail. 
once you strip the paint off so it's quite hard to hone in because we haven't got much detail to play with but been working on that one slowly getting there getting all these profiles in a lot sharper sanding them back so we've got a nice bit to work with here comes the rain now hopefully our roof holds off james is your phone here mate there mate um yeah absolutely hammering down now so we just wrapped up in time but yeah everything's starting taking to starting to take shape now all the corbels looking good we've run that bit of filler in underneath there to get our level nice and straight into that base seal more preparation and filling now um upstairs that's all had another coat wow i've been lucky today with this roof it's held out quite well to be fair especially as the um, guttering's all leaking. That's the point, I need to get them buckets back up. Um, as all this guttering's been leaking, all on these joints here, that's causing a lot of water to come down on the stonework. But yeah, this is starting to take shape now. The color of the bath stone really complements the pointing color really well, as you can see. So, good base progress. We're gonna pull off this job now. I need a customer to um, change this fascia and socket before we start doing any final decoration. There's going to be a lot of um, rubbish that comes out of this. You're going to see all of the all of the crap's going to come out underneath there and just go all, all over our, our final um, finish of painting. But we've done well today. No complaints. So all good. So we are just wrapping up now for the day. And then we're off to another job tomorrow. Another one round the corner on the Corbett Estate. Another full burn off. Um, it's all been pointed already. Um, so we'll um, show you some of that tomorrow. And that's going to be probably about another three week job over there. But yeah, I do like this colour. A bit of lightning now, I think. Um, yeah, I do like this colour. I mean, look at the detail now. It's all about that preparation. We've honed in all of the moustache, all of the beard, all of the floral details. Once we get some um, coats of paint on these capitals, um, they're going to look really good as well now. So, um, yep, here comes the thunder too. So, to show you what it looks like from back here now. I've had to put a bit of my up over there, but yeah, starting to take shape now. All good. So. If you've got any questions, as always, um, please give us a call, get in contact, and we'd be happy to assist you as always. Thank you very much.